Hello and welcome to the 8th section of this course. In the previous section we covered concurrency as well as how to build a real-time chat system. In this section we will cover how to deploy a Go application into production, including deployment options, automated deployments and continuous integration. Moving on to the first video of this section, we're going to be looking at the available options for deployments. We will also walk through a basic deployment for Go applications. When it comes to Go deployments, you have two options – bare metal and a platform. When I say bare metal, I mean something like your own development environment. Your computer doesn't support Go natively and it takes some setting up before it works. This is what bare metal is. You have to set everything up yourself. This usually means doing something like installing Go, setting a Go path, installing dependencies like your database server, tuning your machine settings, and setting up process management. While these bare metal platforms allows you the most in terms of configuration options, they can be hard to get set up with. The most popular bare metal platforms in the Go community at the time of writing are DigitalOcean and Amazon EC2, but you can also use the Rackspace or Walter. When I say platform, I mean something that comes with a Go environment installed and configured for you. This is something like the Google App Engine, which has its own Go runtime that you typically write your code to run on. These platforms offer less configuration but remove a lot of the headache that comes with setting everything up yourself. The most popular platform seems to be Google App Engine, but you can also use Microsoft Azure and IBM's Bluemix. For the purpose of this video, we're going to briefly cover how to deploy our code on a bare metal platform, since each platform as a service varies pretty drastically from one another. Since DigitalOcean is the most popular and offers a free trial, we will use that. To begin, visit digitalocean.com, create an account and login. Next, click the Create Droplet button, select Ubuntu 14.04 x64, the smallest droplet, and the data center nearest to you. After that, click the Create button you will see that the droplet creation process has started. Once the droplet has been created, you will be emailed your droplet's IP address, username and password. You can now log into your droplet via SSH and begin to install Go. Awesome! Once you have logged in, you will need to install Go. Begin by downloading the latest Go release for Ubuntu by running the next command. After that, run tar-xvf on the zipped file you just downloaded. Finally, move Go into your USR local folder by running sudo mv go slash usr slash local. If you want to verify that you're doing things correctly at any point, just run go env and make sure the output is what you expect. After this, you will need to create your Go path and add the Go binary to your path. To do this, add the next lines to your .bashrc file and run source.bashrc. You can check to make sure this worked by running which Go. Last is to create your Go path by creating a new directory named Go. To do this, just run mkdir go. To set up your Go workspace, it's easiest to just run go get github.com slash golang slash example slash hello, which will set up the layout for you. Then, to test if your server is working, try running the out yet example. To see if it's working, go to port 8080 on your droplet's IP address. If it's working, you'll see this page. In this video, we learned about the different options available for deploying a Go application and how to perform a very basic deployment of a real Go application.
In the next video, we will do a much more sophisticated deployment and learn how to automate these deployments. Well done!